Now a point consists of a point marker and a label. Um, currently what is displayed uh, here on the left, this is a point. The point marker is an X and then the label here is a point number and um, a description label. So when I select the point, there are two grips that appear, one as a diamond and one as a square. So if I hover over the diamond grip, uh, Civil 3D presents three options. I can move this point, I can rotate the label, or, like, uh, or I can rotate the marker. So let's just try to rotate the marker. As you can see, I can rotate the marker. Okay. Let's try another option. We can reset the marker. But let's try to rotate label and marker. We can do that also. Or we can move this point. So I hover over that and I move to the move point. And I can move this point to another position. Let me not move it for now. Let me reset all. Also, you can edit this point by using the other grip, the square grip. If I click on this, if I hover over this uh, square grip, I can move label. I can also rotate label. I can toggle some item grips, but also I can grab on this toggle, on this grip I mean, and move that label elsewhere. And I can add I can add uh, a corner here to this extension. If I want to remove it, I just click on the minus. If I want to add a corner, I, I click on the plus. And if I want to reset back to the normal uh, orientation, I just come here to the square grip at the end. I hover over it and I go to reset label and we are back to where we, we started. So this is a simple way of editing uh, points. And uh, in case you do not want to edit this point, you can lock the point. Here, if I click on the point, up there, the contextual tab, on the contextual tab, you see lock point. I can click on that. Also, I can right click on this point and I go to, to lock points. Okay. So if I am to hover over this, the lock point will have a different icon. As you can see, here, we're being shown that the point has been locked. So if you lock a point, it is, it is, uh, it is, it is labeled using uh, some icon here. I can also uh, lock a point group. So let me right click on this point group. And I can go to lock points. Okay, and now all the points are locked. So the the point of locking a point is that that point can now not be moved. If I hover over that, let me try to move it. See, I cannot move that point. So you can utilize the grips and the locking commands to uh, safeguard your points so that they're not edited or accidentally edited.